is the worst starter Pokemon of all time. A few weeks ago, I posted this short asking this question and the responses are what you'd expect. A bit of nostalgia, he's a cool fire dragon, but what I didn't see was anyone claiming he was actually their favorite starter Pokemon. But because that's been done to death on here, let's flip it the other way and ask who is the worst starter? I'll be making a case for each region starting trio, putting them in a group, then deciding once and for all who is the worst starter Pokemon of all time. Starting it off with the ones that started it off. You know, it's, it's hard to hate on these three if you're a millennial or five. I hate this little generic fire loser with every bone in my body. I swear it's not his fault, it's their fault for giving him a version in every game that comes out or giving him a cool card in every TCG set over the past four years. Seriously, go look at him. Over 99% of them are Charizard. I swear we have over a thousand Pokemon. Please give some of them time to shine. Chikorita's the worst out of Gen 2, though. Moving on to Hoenn, these three are actually difficult to choose from. All three base forms are dope, and even though Sceptile is a little underpowered compared to Blaziken and Swampert and Competitive, you still got a dope design. Uh, and you know what? You know what? No, no, no. This is, this is my list. None of these three are going to end up on the worst anyways, so uh, Hoenn, you get my spiel of approval. For now, I still have my grace. Next up is the region that started it all for me, Sinnoh. And even though I love Piplop, Chimchar, and Turtwig dearly, it would have to be Turtwig. Look, I love this whole evolution line, but man, it's slow and has some really bad weaknesses to fire, ice, bug, and flying. Meanwhile, Empoleon is still the only water steel Pokemon, and Infernape is... I think Gen 5 is the first region where all three starters are not created equal. Tepig, I choose you to represent Unova as the worst starting Pokemon. Kalos is another easy one to get through. I feel like the Chespin line is easily the worst one here. Fennekin at least gets the cool buff for being a wizard, and Greninja is legit a top 5 starter, period. Meanwhile, Chestnut is, uh, just kind of there. Keeping with the theme of too good, one dookie. Uh, sorry, Papalio. What? Do I really need to explain this? The Sijuai is so dope, it got a second, arguably even cooler version, and Incineroar is legit one of the best competitive Pokemon ever, and Primarina is, again, just kind of there. However, the same can't be said for the Galar Pokemon. I feel like the base form of all three starters are pretty solid, and even though they take some pretty drastic turns at the end, none of them really stick out as absolute stinkers. All three are pretty well balanced stat-wise, but if I'm being honest, Rillaboom just doesn't hit the same mm, monkey level for me. And I'm definitely not just saying that because Inteleon has a snipe shot pointed directly at my head. Moving on to our final three. Sprigatito, Coco, and Quaxley. Obviously haven't had the quality time with them as all the others, but once again, the base form of all three, pretty solid in my book. Listen, I know a lot of people hate on Quackable, but at least he's unique. And hey, Fuey Coco at least didn't turn into a bipedal Pokemon this time. Meowskarata just feels so... Bland. And look, 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 I know I'm in the very, 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 very minority considering it was voted like the most popular Pokemon of Gen 9. He just feels very bland and he's gonna be my vote for the worst starter Pokemon from Gen 9. So which of these is your least favorite starter Pokemon? Let me know in the comments below. I'll tally it up against my opinion and we'll know once and for all who is the worst starter Pokemon of all time.